the ultimate walking tour of downtown Disney in Anaheim, California. I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. And in this video, I'm going to show you around downtown Disney, the free area, the shopping mall area of Disneyland. No admission required to come in here. This will be the ultimate guide because it's not just a window stop tour, but I'm going to take you inside the stores, inside the restaurants. We'll start with the world of Disney, the big gift shop and at the front, and then we'll end with the Star Wars gift shop at the end. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I see. And so I'm starting this walk right at the plaza between Disneyland and California Adventure. You can see right here, this is the entrance to Disneyland. You can see the Disneyland train station right there in the middle. The monorail tracks over all the people who are waiting in line. As you've noticed, there's probably a lot of people that are standing there waiting in line. This is 11 a.m. on a weekday. It's holiday time. It's December. So this is a popular time to come to the theme parks. Now, since it's pandemic time, one of the biggest things is there's nobody in line for the ticket booths that are here because nobody's buying tickets on site. Everybody's got to buy them on site. Everybody's got to have a reservation for a specific day which is definitely a little bit different than how it used to be. Now, recording this in December, you'll see as we go through here, Downtown Disney is holiday themed. So lots of holiday stuff that I will point out as we walk along. I have walked in the entrance of Downtown Disney from Harbor Boulevard. I would consider this to be the main entrance only because it's the entrance close to the theme parks. If you're driving, then you'll be parking on the other side and you'll be coming in where the end of this walk is. Now, if you're wondering, Chris, where did you park? I parked at the Anaheim Garden Walk parking structure. It's a shopping mall just about two blocks away from Disneyland. I find the parking there to be cheaper than the downtown Disney parking. It's three bucks an hour at Anaheim Garden Walk. Uh, and you get the first hour free. So here for a couple hours, much cheaper than the $10 of parking at downtown Disney in the, in the lot they have that also requires a $20 validation. So on the right here, this is the area where the trams would usually drop off from the Mickey and Friends parking structure, but the trams are still not running. So if you're coming to Disneyland uh, and you're parking at the Mickey and Friends parking structure, you'll be walking, you know, what, what almost seems like a mile from that parking structure into Disneyland. So the first kind of real thing here in downtown Disney, there's this neat fountain, it goes up, it goes down. Always fun for the kiddos to watch and you see your first holiday decoration, a little Christmas tree right back there. We've got the first restaurant, which is La Brea Bakery. Uh, La Brea Bakery has two halves. There is a sit down half and there's also an express half. The express half, you can go in and just do grab and go. So let's go in and take a look at the grab and go side. As we come in, they've got a little drink section over here where you can pick up beverages. They've got some fruit cups. They've got some yogurt parfaits, sandwiches, salads. If you're looking for some place to come that doesn't have a long line, it's a good spot. Here's some better exhibits of what that Caesar salad looks like, of what the turkey salad looks like. They make it right here. They've also got a lot of baked goods, so if you're looking for a quick breakfast, this is a good place. You can get something like the apple crisp here for $4, croissant for $4, cinnamon bun for $4. So I think this is probably the best quick breakfast right as you go in to the Disneyland Park. And then there are tables just out there to the right that you can eat. And then on this other side, closer to the world of Disney gift shop, this is the sit down part of La Brea Bakery. So if you come and you see like a line or there's a wait, that is likely for the sit down part instead of the express part. And you can see they actually take reservations for the sit down part and you can get a real breakfast. Uh, they've got a little <coughs> standby line over here for people that are waiting to eat that did not have a reservation for the sit down part of it. Now, uh, the World of Disney gift shop starts here, which we're gonna go in. Right above it is the Grand Californian Hotel. Uh, it's a Disneyland's highest hotel that's sort of built into this whole downtown Disney complex. There's uh, some shopping carts on the right where you can get hot dogs, pretzels, churros. Uh, but let's go ahead and walk in to the world of Disney shop. Now, recording this in December in California, you have to wear 
uh, masks inside here at Disneyland. Oh, by the way, do you see this shirt right here? And then do you see what I'm wearing? Look at that, look at that shirt. That's right, I got this shirt from this gift shop last time I was here. This is Disneyland's biggest gift shop. If you're looking for one place to do all of your gift shopping or souvenir shopping, this is it. Now this shop does not have everything that you can buy in the parks. There are certain things that you can only buy in certain areas inside the park. But if you're trying to look for one place that you can get the most things, you're doing a, a mindless run, you're visiting California, you wanna bring your friends back something from Disneyland. Even if you didn't go inside Disneyland, you can do that here. This is uh, often where OC Girl and I go to bring souvenirs to our friends around the world as we travel. And you can see they do a great job decorating this for the holidays. Right now it's that December holiday Christmas theme. And then typically this part of the shop, the middle part of the shop, has whatever merchandise for whatever holiday. Right now, the Christmas, December holidays. They've got a little cardboard cutout of Walt Lodge. You can get things like the Disney salt and pepper shaker set. We bring the Mary. I mean, all the things that you didn't know you need until you came here. And then of course you definitely need them. Get your stockings. Maybe you want a Mickey stocking. Maybe you want a Dumbo stocking, perhaps. And uh, one of the neat things they do in here now is they do mobile checkout. So you actually don't have to wait in line to check out. You can use the Disneyland app. Here, I'm gonna show you, there's a sign. It says save time with mobile checkout. You can use the Disneyland app to scan your items. And then when you go by the exit, there's a little counter that says mobile checkout. You show them from your phone and then they just bag it up for you. Uh, that's a great way to get out of here because sometimes the checkout lines can be quite long. If you don't do mobile checkout and you wanna stand at a cashier, there are three of them in here. So you can take a look at what the one with the shortest line is here. Then you can see if you wanna do the mobile checkout, this is the mobile checkout counter. And right now this gift shop only has one entrance and one exit. So we went in the entrance and we went out the exit. Used to be able to go in a whole bunch of doors, but not right now. There's a new little cart right here called Post 21. Never actually seen this one before. What do they have here? Looks like things that you might buy for the holidays. Eye Astrology, Raw Honey, some neat little plates and cups and wrapping paper. And uh, we've got more holiday decorations over here. You can see some more Christmas trees done up with lots of big multicolored Christmas ornaments. Now, uh, at uh, about 11, a lot of these restaurants haven't really gotten busy yet. Here is Naples Restaurant and Bar. It's an Italian restaurant that has pretty decent pizza, big outside seating area. Uh, speaking of breakfast or coffee, the other option is Starbucks coffee. Uh, this one also always has long lines. Uh, pro tip, do, do mobile order pickup. They do mobile orders in here. And so you can order it on your phone and you can pick it up on the side and you don't have to stand in this very long line. But it's a, it's a nice Starbucks. It's a big Starbucks, as you can see one of the biggest Starbucks around here in Orange County. And if you did mobile order, then you can just pick it up right here at that mobile order pickup counter. The seating area here is also another nice shady area. So if you're looking for a place to get away from the heat on a hot day, sit down and relax, try to grab one of these seats right out by Starbucks. It's often pretty cool here. Enjoy the music that plays in downtown Disney and uh, you know, sit here and also hear the, the sounds of this little fountain going by. All right, let's take a look a little bit more at this Naples seating area. Um, what's kind of cool at nighttime, they have all these umbrellas that have like lights underneath them. It has a really neat vibe. There's the kind of a cool looking bar in the background and shops. So our first shop that isn't a Disney shop is 
Sunglass Icon by Sunglass Hut. What do they sell in here? Well, of course they sell sunglasses. You know, the sun is really bright here, and so if you didn't bring sunglasses, well, you can pick up your new sunglasses at Sunglass Icons. They're not gonna be cheap though. I should point that out, nothing ever is. Next store is Curl Surf. This is a surf shop, a typical Southern California surf shop. What do I mean when I say that? Well, I mean, it is a surf shop that has lots of decorations about surfing, but no actual surfboards, just surf style clothing. Perfect for you if you live in the middle of country. If you live in the middle of the country and couldn't actually bring back a surfboard, but you just want to look like you're a surfer. Pandora, little jewelry shop here. They don't have anybody in there right now, and so I'm not gonna barge my way in, but this is a little jewelry shop for the Pandora brand. Next up, we've got Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice, famous smoothie place. You get your orange juice. You could also get some little breakfast items here as well if you're looking for a quick breakfast. Neat looking Jamba Juice inside. This one is always busy on a hot day. Now across on the other side, there's that main entrance to the Naples uh, pizza restaurant. And they also have a fast casual section on the side that you can get fast food pizza. Little fountain right here. Uh, and next to the Naples pizza, we've got a place where you can get shoes and sandals. You came to Disneyland and you decided that your shoes aren't very good or it's too hot and you want some sandals, you can stop in here. But most of these sandals are gonna be um, this kind of like flip-flop style of sandals, like Javianas, uh, but you can see it's one of those shoe stores where like everything kind of like hangs on the wall like that. Um, they do have some that are shoes, but you're not gonna find any, you know, Nikes, things like that. Really neat background here that says California Soul with a bit of shimmer on it. That's cool. Okay, I passed by Sephora over there, which is a makeup store. It's a big makeup store. It looks like every other Sephora you've ever seen if you've been to Sephora, so I'm not gonna wander in there with you. Uh, salt and Straw, I really like this place for ice cream. Really good ice cream in here. They've got hand-packed ice cream. They've also got pints of ice cream right here if you want to take some to go. Um, but they have interesting flavors. Sea salt and caramel, um, honey lavender, olive oil, cold brew coffee, cashew praline. And let me tell you, in here, it smells just like those waffle cones that they are making back there. It smells really quite good in here. This is another place that often has a long line. Uh, so try to come probably before what I would call the like after dinner ice cream rush. Another quick place to eat is Wetzel's Pretzels. You can get little pretzel curls, but the downtown Disney institution that people love is uh, Marceline's Confectionery. This is downtown Disney's uh, candy shop. Um, and they have a window on the outside where you can actually see them making the candies. Uh, right now, it looks like they're making caramel apples. You can see they've got the apples waiting out here. They've got the made ones back there. Uh, so we don't see anyone in the window right now, but if you, maybe when you come, you'll actually see somebody in there making them. It's pretty cool uh, how they do it. Can I go in? All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. All right, so it's a busy place. And so if you wanna make a purchase, they have you take a number as you come in and then they, have the number boards right up there. So you can see here are those candy apples that they had and they are really pretty. Look at that, that's the mini apple. These are some of the blue holiday apples. The decorated ones are $12.49. If you just want a regular caramel apple, that's only gonna be $6.49. Cheap in comparison to the decorated one. And uh, They've also got other things just on the shelves. You can pick up coffee, you can pick up plates, you can pick up your, you know, Mickey bowl to take home with you. But most of the people are definitely here for the 
caramel apples and the chocolates, which they are pretty tasty. I will say that we've had those a number of times when the line isn't too long. As, as former annual pass holders that come here all the time, we basically would do the things when the lines are short. Now, one of the fairly new restaurants here is called Ballast Kitchen, uh, brewery and kitchen right here. It's actually up on the second floor. So you go in there, you take the elevator up and there's a restaurant and bar on the second level. It is above Black Tap Burgers, which Black Tap Burger makes a pretty good burger, I will say, but they are also not cheap and uh, they're not open. They're not open yet. Um, they also have these really impressive milkshakes, uh, but the milkshakes are also quite expensive. Big seating area, you just wait in line to order. This is another one where the lines can be really long because this place is really Instagram famous. Now, if you have like a car when you're here, like go to In-N-Out Burger because it'll be better and cheaper. But if you don't have a car and you're staying here at Disneyland and you're looking for a burger, and everything else is busy, then try out Black Tap. They have a window out here where you can just get the shakes uh, and you can see pricing wise, they've got the regular shakes, $10.50 for those, or their crazy shakes, $16 roughly for those crazy shakes. But like one of them has like a slice of cake on a shake. I mean, they are, they are really pretty crazy. Okay, here in the middle is the uh, Catal Uva bar. This is always a popular place for happy hour. They have Monday through Friday, 2 to 6 p.m. This is like the spot to be in the middle of downtown Disney. Um, over here, this used to be like a VR experience thing. We can see there's a love pop and a soccer shop coming soon. One place I really like to bring home desserts is from Sprinkles Cupcakes. The cupcakes here are really quite good. And uh, let's see if they're open yet. They are still closed. But as we look in here, uh, they've got all these different types of cupcakes. They're not cheap. They're like $4 or so per cupcake. And then uh, that Catal that had the bar in the middle, they have a restaurant up on the second floor through here. Uh, and uh, you can see for the holidays, they have breakfast with Santa. Oh, how much is that gonna cost? $109 for adults, 50 bucks for children. You get pictures for Santa, hot cocoa carts, and more. Yeah, none of the um, special food events at Disneyland are ever cheap, for sure. Okay, now uh, one of the stores I also really like is this Disney Home Store. And I find they do have things in here that they don't have in that big gift shop. This is all, if you want a bit of Mickey to bring into your house, like you wanna get a Christmas is happier together apron, you wanna get some Mickey holiday plates, you wanna get some Disney themed pillows, you wanna get a Mickey shaped wreath, and like, it's all kind of done in like a classy way in here. Um, though for the holidays, everything in here definitely is kind of holiday themed. And then in the back, they have the Disney Tales pet collection. So you can get um, costumes for your pets in the back. You know, let's kind of try and work our way back in here. Lots of people buying stuff at the Disney Home Store today. Yeah, but you can get this little comfort harness for your doggy or you can get little bows, you can get a mini water bowl, you can get, what we got here, pet toys. That looks like the monorail that you can have your uh, doggy chew on. And uh, here we go. If you, if you love me, let me sleep. I agree. That's definitely a good phrase. All right, and I'll go ahead and work our way back out to the exit here. Oh, over here, again, for the holidays, there's a whole selection of ornaments. And then uh, one thing that's always popular here in the holidays are um, Disney Starbucks ornaments. So they have special Starbucks ornaments that you can only buy here at Disneyland. Um, they've got a few different ones. This is the yellow one. This is the 
pink one. This is the red one. And then they often release different ones each year. So you can come every year and collect them all. Okay, we have a traffic jam here of strollers. All right, so uh, now just next to Black Tap Burgers and Shakes is Splits Fill Luxury Lanes. This is a bowling alley here in downtown Disney. Bowling alley, bar and grill. It's kind of like the type of food you would get at a sports bar. The bowling alley is a really neat in there. They haven't opened this early yet either. Uh, Tortilla Joe's, a big two-story Mexican restaurant. Honestly, I don't know why you would eat Mexican food there because there's a lot of other Mexican options while you're here in Southern California. More holiday trees. Oh, I passed, I passed the Wonderground Gallery. If you're looking for uh, more artistic stuff than at that Disney home store at the Wonderground Gallery, you can actually get like classic Disney pieces of art to hang on your wall. This is pretty cool. This was taken over by the Star Wars store for a while, but now that that opened in its permanent location, uh, this has reopened again as the Wonderground Gallery. So you can get like prints like this for your wall. If you want it, you know, to go with everything, you've got like cups and bowl. I mean, you can like match everything with a third, certain theme. Get the t-shirt, get the print, get the stuffed animal, get the pin. Uh, and then you can see they've also got like classic Disney prints here for like Autopia and the monorail back in the day. We've got an artist and she's drawing something right there. Maybe he's drawing something right there. Uh, the pictures of Adventureland. If you wonder how much this framed picture of the Adventureland sign is, this is $399. So you're not gonna find the art to be particularly cheap in here, but classy. Um, I think that's the, Maybe the standard price for these frame prints. Here we go, uh, $399 for dreaming amongst the daisies for Alice in Wonderland. Okay, heading back out, we see some more holiday trees, candy canes, nutcrackers over here. Another one of my favorite spots to eat is Jazz Kitchen Express. This is part of Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. And then here on the corner, it's all about beignets. The original New Orleans beignets, about 10 bucks, gets you four of them. Spend more, you get more. You get, get a dipping sauce. They've also got gumbo. Here, let me pop in here so you can see what this place looks like. It also gets busy, so they've got lines set up outside. And uh, you can see they actually make the beignets in here. You can see them rolling them out right now. It looks like probably they're, they're raising. And then you can see the hot beignets are, let's see, right back there, fried up fresh. They put the powdered sugar on it, get some hot cocoa with it. Gumbo time, you get the gumbo here, the rice here. So, all right, I think we have to work our way back out oh, this way to the exit, to the patio seating. Yeah, for the pandemic, they've got these like standing tables. You used to be able to sit. And the problem with powdered sugar, and you can see the people are eating the beignets right here, it gets everywhere. So when you're eating these, hold them far away from your mouth so the powdered sugar doesn't end up everywhere on you. Now that's Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen Express because it's next to the big Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen, which is this two-story restaurant, New Orleans cuisine, food and fun for the whole family. This is another like, just kind of like really neat um, ambiance place. Everything there uh, is pretty tasty if you're looking for a sit down restaurant. Okay, so now here, this part of downtown Disney is actually uh, a bridge that we're going over the road to the Mickey and Friends parking structure. We've got one booth that sold ornaments. We've got another booth that sells sunglasses. We've got letter brush art. So if you want to get your name in some letters, you can get that here. Churros, churros are pretty good. I just heard someone uh, walking by and saying they like that shirt. So that's nice, thank you. I should have told them where they can get it. 
and then <laughs> you know maybe get a commission from the Disney store as I do that. And then finally, there was a blue ribbon corn dogs. If you're looking for corn dogs, I think the best corn dogs at Disney are in Disneyland at the Main Street corn dog cart. There's also a corn dog castle in California Adventure. I'm just coming over here to show you that that part of Disney was a bridge that goes over that road. This goes to the Mickey and Friends parking structure. The other way it goes to the downtown Disney lot. And then right here, you can see the monorail boarding um, in that curved roof. Okay, there's a little pin traders cart right out here that has the classic Mickey ears, which seems to be classic. Everybody has to get their Mickey ears if you don't have one when you come to Disneyland. And then pins, a popular Disneyland item, are picking up pins for souvenirs and trading pins. Often they would have places where people could come out and trade pins with others, uh, but for the pandemic, they've kind of reduced that for the moment. And you can pick up a lanyard, you can put all your pins on. They've got like thin ones, and if you've got like tons of pins, they've got really thick ones. Kind of thought of everything for the people that like their Disney pins. The Lego store, this one's neat because they have these really neat Lego figures that are out here. It's sort of funny that there's a Lego store here because there is a Lego Land theme park just down in San Diego and Carlsbad, about 90 minutes uh, south of here driving. But uh, they have a neat store that kids like, also adults that like Legos like as well. I really love to see the genie that's up there in the ceiling. That's cool. And uh, if you are someone who likes to make some custom Lego things, you can pick up any of the parts you want back here uh, and uh, you know pick a brick and build it. How this works is you get like a cup here. You can get a small cup or a large cup and you just fill it up with the bricks that are in here, whatever you want, and you can then make whatever you want, except you'll be making it based on your imagination instead of with instructions. But you know, that's that's really the way to make Legos. And then upstairs, they've got the mosaic maker experience, but you have to book an appointment to do that. And uh, it gives you a personalized Lego set to make a mosaic of yourself. That's pretty cool. You can see that right up there in the second story. Oh, they've got a Lego Darth Vader over there, which is neat. We'll be visiting that shortly. They've also got the Lego mini figure factory that has all the pieces for little mini figures. You can see right there, there's all the little Lego heads. I don't know, that's kind of creepy. I think Lego heads. Oh, we've got Lego dinosaurs right there. Our traveling princess, she loves dinosaurs. I might have to come back and get her a Lego dinosaur when I'm done shooting this video. Okay, heading out of the Lego store. This is the entrance to the monorail loading. And uh, you know, if you're staying at the Disneyland Hotel or the Paradise Pier Hotel, that's a pretty good way to get into the park. It drops you up right inside Disneyland. Oh, by the way, here's a map of downtown Disney. So it gives you an idea of where we started. Chris, where, where is that? Where, where did we start? We started over here on the left, Little Brea Bakery, World of Disney gift shop, Uva Bar right here in the middle. Um, we're here at the monorail loading, and then we're gonna go see Earl of Sandwich, and we're gonna end here in what used to be the Rainforest Cafe that is now the Star Wars trading post. There is a second Starbucks. If you're doing mobile order, make sure you get it from the correct Starbucks. This one is a lot smaller of a Starbucks uh, and they have a little small mobile order pickup. If you're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, that's gonna be the closer one for you to pick up than the other one. Probably less people ordering here too, so I think you'll have an easier time on the mobile order pickup. This is Sugar Boo and Company dealer in Whimsy. This is kind of like the Disney home store. It's like all for your home, except um, it's not really Mickey themed or anything like that. It's just kind of a 
cute classic store of home goods and home stuff. Okay. So now this used to be the AMC movie theater that closed when Disneyland had a plan to build a luxury hotel. This is gonna get torn down soon. And actually the reason why I'm doing this video today in particular is because it was recently announced that Disneyland is moving forward on redeveloping this area. So they are finally gonna be tearing down the AMC movie theater. They're gonna be finally tearing down the Earl of Sandwich, which I'm really sad about. And they're also gonna be tearing down the ESPN zone to do some upgrades over here. And so I wanted to make sure I got this all on camera so that if people wanted to come back and see it, they're like, oh, that's what that Earl of Sandwich looked like. And if you're coming here, you know, before the holidays, get your Earl of Sandwich while they're still open. I love this place. This is truly the world's greatest hot sandwich. I really like uh, the Earl's Club right here. Also, the holiday turkey is really great too. It's just, you know, the first time I ate at Earl of Sandwich was at Disney World in Florida. And uh, I loved it so much, I ate there the, like every day that I was there. You're coming through this neat library and uh, then they make the sandwiches back there. They get these like, the bread's almost kind of like uncooked a little bit, not uncooked, but not completely cooked. And then they bake it and it gets really good. And I love the picture right here, John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. And then they have a nice outdoor seating area out here where you can sit and eat your sandwich in the shade. If this fails you, then you can eat your sandwich in the shade in front of the movie theater while they're all still here. This is the other security checkpoint. Uh, this is the Disneyland Hotel. The Paradise Pier Hotel is down that way, and that's the direction of the Downtown Disney parking lot. If you were driving and you followed the signs to say Downtown Disney, you would park over there and walk over this way. It's about a 10 minute walk from the parking lot into Downtown Disney. Now, this building used to be the ESPN zone. It's become like their special events zone. Um, I'll be really interested to see what comes of this area because always new developments at Disney are pretty neat. As I said, I will be sad to see my Earl of Sandwich go. This little area, they've uh, had a holiday stage in it. And so you see there's a big Christmas tree here. Great place to take a picture with Mr. Snowman. And every evening there's entertainment out on this stage themed for the holidays. So um, whatever holiday it is. Uh, during uh, Halloween, they had like some singers that looked like they came out of the Haunted Mansion. They were all kind of dressed up in white like ghosts. You know, they'll usually have like uh, Christmas music during December. Um, so always check out uh, that entertainment when you walk by here in the evening. Okay, this used to be the Rainforest Grill. Now it is the Star Wars Trading Post. This is the newest store in downtown Disney. And if you like Star Wars, it's pretty neat. Even if you don't like Star Wars, it's pretty neat because they've done a really great job of theming this store. Like you can just look at the walls right here and really feel like you're in the Star Wars universe. Rainforest Cafe, it's still got the trees in the middle of it, but uh, they've kind of made it like a, like a tree um, base maybe, like a base that's overgrown with trees, something like that. You can see even the areas where they have the checkouts, they've all done up really cool as well. And uh, some of this Star Wars merchandise you used to only be able to get inside Disneyland at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but now you have an opportunity to get it here. So if you're not going into the theme park, you can get it out here uh, without having to pay to go in, which is nice, or not having to waste the day that you've paid in the park to buy this stuff. They have a whole Star Wars stuffed animal section here. Um, you know, we have a rule in our house that we can only have cute stuffed animals by OC Girls, so I don't think I don't think she would allow that one into the house not too cute. I don't know, what do you think? Chewbacca? Mini Chewbacca? Is he cute? I think he's pretty cute. These little these little porgs are pretty cute too. 
in the corner they've got like the little you know kids jedi outfits if you want to outfit your little ones in some star wars attire you can get boba fett helmets you can get stormtrooper helmets this is uh, you know like star wars lovers i think when they come in here they've died and gone to star wars heaven essentially you can hear the star wars theme song playing in the background just a, a neat store um you're like chris it seems empty you know again it's it's early it's 11 so most people are going straight into the theme park right now to get on the rides and not no. stopping at these shops which is why i'm doing this video right now so i can show you the shops and the attractions without having to just look over the shoulders of tons of people well fellow explorers there you have it the ultimate walking tour of downtown disney i hope you've seen something new that maybe you didn't know was here before or you've heard about what's going to change in the future or you're in the future looking back on this to see gosh what did that area with earls of sandwich used to look like well if you're coming to southern california and you want to see more of my southern california travel guides you'll find link right here to my entire southern california series playlist you'll also find the link in the description below as usual i won't say goodbye because i'll see you in one of those videos.